Hi, Mr. X with Glossary Term Number Line. It's a depiction of all real numbers. You know that if we go to the left infinitely far, we end up at negative infinity. And if we go to the right infinitely far, we go to positive infinity. And so nobody's ever drawn a complete number line. That would be impossible. So in a practical sense, it's a section of the number line that we depict. And this one happens to go from 30 to 80. And I picked this because I want to zero in on some numbers around 65. So we're going to go between 60 and 70. We're going to zero in on this part of our number line, all right? All right, see what we've done? We've zeroed in, and now we're going from 60 to 70. And we're counting by ones. Well, let's pick, let's be a little different here. Let's pick this section between 61 and 62. Let's look at just these numbers between 61 and 62. So we're going to zero in on that. 61 and 1 tenth is the same as 61 and 1 tenth. 61 and 3 tenths is the same as 61 and 3 tenths. And of course, 61 and 5 tenths is 61 and a half because the 0.5, 5 tenths, is the same as the half. 61 and 7 tenths, 61 and 9 tenths. So we have these one-tenth marks between the whole number, 61, and the whole number, 62. Let's zero in on this piece, between 61.3 and 61.4. Now, if it makes it easier to see these points at the edge, go ahead and add the zero, because that doesn't change our value. In other words, 61.4 is the same as 61.40. And then we can see how we would count from 30 to 40. And how do we read these numbers? Well, let's take this one right here. This would be 61 and 32 hundredths. Of course, we could reduce this to 61 and 8 25ths. But there's really no need to do that. We could. This would be... 61 and 35 hundredths, we could reduce that as well. 61 and 7 twentieths, but we don't need to do that. Better to keep things as a decimal. Now here's my question. Between, say, this point and this point, how many points are there? Well, we could divide it into 10 again, just like we have been. We could take this number, 61.37, put it over here, this number, 61.38, Put it over here, and in the middle here, we'd have 61.375. This number's halfway between this number. Again, if it helps to add the zero to C until you get comfortable with this concept, a lot of students find that it's easier to see that 375 is halfway between 370 and 380. But that's how these things work. Could we read those numbers? 61.371. Sixty one point three seventy two, and we're going to zero in on that line right there. Just going to zero in on it. Sixty one point three seven one, sixty one point three seven two. What's halfway in between those guys? What's this value halfway in between? Sixty one point three seven one five. Again, if it's easier to see this with a zero written after these guys, 37.15 is halfway between 37.10 and 37.20. Now, what's the limit to this process? Well, there is no limit. So appreciate this fact. Between any two points on the number line, no matter how close together they were, we could say we could put these as small a dot as we can make. How many points are between these two points, an infinite number of points between these two. Learn the language of mathematics at MrXMath.com.